You know, it doesn't seem right to review an awesome, action-packed car chase movie with a Hello Kitty background. Good thing this movie wasn't any of those. It's hard, Michael. There's history. You know I want this to work. It's just... Angie, I'm here. Okay? And it's gonna be different this time. I picked up this car from the rental car company. They screwed up the car and... Hello? Who are you? Who are you? I've recently uncovered information implicating a very powerful man. You're gonna save it for the police. It's the police that run me dead. Now, Vehicle 19 tells the story of Paul Walker and what he shouldn't have done after Fast and Furious 6. Just kidding. The story to this is actually that Paul Walker's character, he goes to get a rental car and they give him Vehicle 19, which just so happens to be a minivan. And to him, it's just like, oh, whatever, it's a minivan. He takes it and it's while he's on the road, you know, he's doing his business that he realizes that there's a phone in this car. And to him, that's just whatever. He ignores it. But then he realizes there's a gun in this car and then he starts to get obviously more suspicious when you see that there's a gun he doesn't know what to do but then he finds that there's a body in the back of the car as well it's alive but still the fact that there's a tied up girl in the back of your car obviously gets you a little worried so then he gets right in the middle of this human trafficking business and he has to deal with should he return this car or should he go to the authorities or are the authorities involved in it and his biggest concern is that they do know who he is and they know who his wife is so now she's in danger and he has to make this decision of what is he going to do is he going to go at him or is he going to try to hide is he going to try to take her and the setup to this movie seemed really cool it seemed like it was going to be really action packed and for a little bit and a little moments it is but it's really slow at some points and it's the way that they try to execute some of the action sequences that really lets the movie down a notch now the plot isn't that bad it's obviously an entanglement between the government being involved with human trafficking and there's my favorite scene at the end of the movie when he finds out what's going on and him having to uh, tell them and them not believing and you have like the division on the good uh, government officials the cops and who are the bad ones but everything before that are just these car chases and action sequences that are really uh, they're not done well the way that they try to do them is by shooting them in different angles while a scene is going on especially when the car tries to pass an intersection and they look like this and yeah it's not pretty but other than the little things like that it wasn't really that bad of a movie if you miss it it's not gonna make a big deal it doesn't it's not as grand as any of the fast uh, and furious movies that he's made but if you do check it out it would be more of a rental don't pay money to go see this if you uh, if it's available in your theater. But if you are a Paul Walker fan, you might like this. He does a whole Paul Walker thing where he's like, what's going on? So let me know if you check this movie out. Let me know what you're looking forward to in Paul Walker's career. I don't think he has anything. But other than that, let me know anything about movies down below. I'll see you guys later. How did you get this phone? I picked up this car from the rental car company. They screwed up the car and... Hello? Who are you? Who are you? I've recently uncovered information implicating a very powerful man. You can just shave it. But then he finds that there's a body in the back of the car as well. It's alive, but still, the fact that there's a tied up girl in the back of your car obviously gets you a little worried. So then he gets right in the middle of this human trafficking business, and he has to deal with should he return this car, or should he go to the authorities, or are the authorities involved in it? And his biggest concern is that they do know who he is, and they know who his wife is, so now she's in danger, and he has to make this decision of what is he going to do? Is he going to go at him, or is he going to try to hide? Is he going to try to take her? And the setup to this movie seemed really cool. It seemed like it was going to be really action-packed. And for the police, it's the police that run me dead. Now, Vehicle 19 tells the story of Paul Walker and what he shouldn't have done after Fast and Furious 6. Just kidding. The story to this is actually that Paul Walker's character, he goes to get a rental car and they give him Vehicle 19, which just so happens to be a minivan. And to him, it's just like, oh, whatever, it's a minivan. He takes it. And it's while he's on the road, you know, he's doing his business that he realizes that there's a phone in this car. And to him, that's just whatever. He ignores it. But then he realizes there's a gun in this car. And then he starts to get obviously more suspicious when you see that there's a gun. He doesn't know what to do. You know, it doesn't seem right to review an awesome, action-packed car chase movie with a Hello Kitty background. Good thing this movie wasn't any of those. It's hard, Michael. There's history. You know I want this to work. It's just... Angie, I'm here. Okay? And it's gonna be different this time. <laughs> For a little bit and a
a little moments, it is, but it's really slow at some points, and it's the way that they try to execute some of the action sequences that really lets the movie down a notch. Now the plot isn't that bad, it's obviously an entanglement between the government being involved with human trafficking, and there's my favorite scene at the end of the movie when he finds out what's going on and him having to uh, tell them and them not believing, and you have like the division on the good uh, government officials, the cops, and who are the bad ones. But everything before that are just these car chases and action sequences that are really, uh, they're not